Hello, and welcome to this new Adam Audio video. This is the first of a series of three videos in which we show you how we turned this room into a recording studio. First, we positioned the speakers, then we put some acoustical treatment into the room, then we measured the loudspeakers and finally calibrated them using a control. So let's start by describing the room. So the room is about five meters wide and it's about eight meters long. We placed some A7s into this space because it's not such a large room and the listening distance isn't so long. So we will see some reflections from the side walls and also from the wall behind the loudspeakers, so the front wall. So the interesting thing about acoustics is you can't see acoustics, you can only hear acoustics. So it'd be nice to visualize what we're hearing and for that we use a measurement system. This gives us the opportunity to see the frequency response on the screen and then we can form valid opinions about what's happening in the room and then do something in A-Control to fix it. So in the measurement system, we can visualize the frequency response, which gives us a measure of how bassy the loudspeaker is or how much treble there is. And we can also look in the time domain using a waterfall plot. And that will show us things like how the sound decays in the room. And that will show us if we have any resonances. So to do acoustical measurements, we should use a measurement microphone. A measurement microphone will have a small diaphragm and be omnidirectional and have a calibration file. For the measurements today, we're going to use RoomEQ Wizard, which is a freely available software. We're also going to use the Mini DSP UMic1, which comes with its own calibration file, which you can import into RoomEQ Wizard. So to calibrate the actual loudspeakers, once we've got the measurements, we could either use the backplate controls, or we could use Sonarworks, which comes with its own measurement system, or we can use advanced adaptation, and that's what we're going to do today. So next we place the microphone at the listening position according to the manufacturer's instructions. So this could be pointing at the loudspeaker or it could be pointing upwards. The calibration file will work with one orientation or the other. The microphone should then be pointing at the loudspeaker and should be lined up with the acoustical axis of the loudspeaker and this is defined in the operating manual. When we start the measurement in RoomEQ Wizard, we will hear a log swept sine wave from the loudspeaker and then see a frequency response on the screen. So here's the measurements of the left speaker in our system. Uh, the loudspeaker was placed about one and a half meters from the, the left wall and about one and a half meters from the front wall. And the first thing to note when looking at a loudspeaker measurement is do we get the bass extension that we expect to see? In the case of an A7, we should see a bass extension down to around about 40 hertz. And in this case, the response is rolling off at about 80 hertz. So we're missing almost an entire octave of bass here. What we do about this measurement, we will discuss in the next video. See you soon.